chapter 41. In chapter 40, we found out that all of the clues were the same clues. They were leading them to the same place, meaning they need new clues. And Sierra has just busted in and said, the new clues are up on the ceiling. Chapter 41. You need to look up at the Wonder Dome, said Sierra. Huh, said Kyle. Sierra and her whole team were standing together outside the door of community room B. She hadn't been this happy and excited in a long time. Uh, Sierra, said Akimi, what are you suggesting we give ourselves a crick in the neck by staring at the ceiling? Okay, this is a game of some of us played online called What's the Connection? I put up a list of authors and you have to figure out how they're linked by the title of their books. Whoa, said Akimi. Sounds fun, she said sarcastically. It is, but believe me, it's not easy. Okay, what'd you figure out, said Miguel. Well, like Curtis said, Thomas Wolfe wrote Look Homework Angel, and Lewis Carroll wrote Through the Looking Gas. That got me thinking. After running computer searches, Stephen Sondheim wrote Look, I Made a Hat. Maya Angelou wrote Even the Stars Look Lonesome. And Bosch wrote, this isn't what it looks like. Okay, they all have look in the title, said Kyle. What about the other five authors, asked Akivi. Did they write look books too? No. They're up there for a different word. Huh? Booker T. Washington wrote up from slavery. Shel Silverstein wrote falling up. And Dr. Seuss, said Kyle, wrote a great day for up. George Orwell did Coming Up for Air, and Todd Strasser did a book called If I Grow Up. So the 10 statues give us two words, said Miguel. Look up. Yup. Look up. So I did. I looked up at the Wonder Dome. There. Do you see it? The string of numbers that drifted across the 200 screen, right under the Star of David. 220.5203, said Miguel. Akimi knuckle-punched Kyle in the air. This is like the bonus code that you showed me on the school bus. Of course, said Kyle. This is a limoncello game. He hides clues in crazy places. Way to go, Sierra. Thanks, said Sierra, realizing it was more fun to play this game with real friends instead of virtual ones on the internet. But we already found the same 200 number playing Bibliomania, said Miguel. True, said Kyle. Check out the sections for numbers the cards wouldn't give us. So everybody craned their neck and focused on the graphics swimming across the 10 panels. Here comes another one, said Sierra. Okay, 600s, underneath the floating stethoscope. Got it, said Kyle. 624.193. Woohoo, said Akimi. Sierra, you are our new hero. You saved the day, said Kyle. Sierra blushed. Thanks. The spinner, said Akimi. Huh, said Miguel. That was another clue. The Bibliomania game was pointing us to the ceiling because in Dewey Decimal Mode, the Wonder Dome looks like a giant 3D version of the game Spinner. Awesome, Sierra. Absolutely awesome, said Miguel. Sierra and her teammates stared up at the ceiling for over an hour at 12.30. They lay down on the floor so they wouldn't cramp their neck muscles. Because every 15 minutes, the animated ceiling looped through call numbers for every decil Dewey Decimal Room in the library, except one. And then the sequence repeated. How come there's no 300s number, said Miguel. Probably because that's the book we really, really need, said Kyle. Oh, that limoncello, said Akimi. What a comedian. So it sounds like they have a new clue for every room 